Are you coming off the clouds yet? Yeah, but I seem to be coming back into the jungle. Mmm, very <coughs> nice. Let's explore that jungle. Tell me all about it. What does it look like? It's the same place I left. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like a pool mm -hmm. at the bottom of the waterfall. And very dense forest. In the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Can you perceive that you have a body there? Look down at, at the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see that you have any feet? I do. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female? I don't know. What's on your feet? Nothing. Nothing. They're bare feet. Are they big or small? Bigger than mine. Mm -hmm. Perceive the rest of your body. If you feel male or female. Feel. This is the first impression that you get. Don't do any analyzing, just the first impression. Female. You feel female. Mm -hmm. Naked. Mm -hmm. <coughs> do you feel that you're young or you're old? Always go by the first impression. Like same age I am now. Mm -hmm. So how do you? How old do you? Maybe feel? a little bit older. Forties. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Describe yourself. To me. What does you look like? Very very long black hair. Long black hair. Mm -hmm. Um, very curvaceous. Not thin. Mm -hmm. Curvaceous. Be beautiful. White skin. White skin. Take a look at your eyes and your facial features. What are they like? My first impression was blue. Mm -hmm. Blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Like um, heart-shaped lips. Excuse me? Like heart-shaped lips. Heart-shaped lips. Uh -huh. Very beautiful. And you're there standing in this dense jungle with no clothes on. I think I was like washing or mm -hmm. relaxing in the pool. In the pool. Mm -hmm. But I'm standing now. Okay. So what are you wearing now? Nothing. Nothing. And how does it feel there? How do you feel your body? Do you feel healthy? Yeah. Warm. Healthy. Warm. Happy. And um, as you're standing there, what kind of emotions are coming to you? Relaxed. Mm -hmm. Relaxed. Very good. It's normal. It's normal for you to go here. Mm -hmm. This is a place where you go to wash. I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's leave that scene behind and let's now go to the place where you lived in that same lifetime. We're now going, moving through the place where you live and I want you to stand in front of it. Tell me when you're there. What does it look like? Getting a cave. A cave. Mm -hmm. Very good. So describe this cave for me. What does it look like from the outside? From the outside, it's a very big entrance. Mm -hmm. I like slate, slate color. Mm -hmm. In a mountain, maybe. Are you like on the side of a mountain? I feel like I'm still inside the jungle. You're inside the jungle, but there's a cave there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're by yourself, or is it, are there others with you? I'm outside by myself. Okay, so let's go inside the cave and tell me what you see or experience in that cave. It's 
fire. Mm -hmm. Look all around you. Get your eyes. There's people in there. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? I don't know. They're in the shadows. In the shadows. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I know them. Okay. Just get the first impression. Don't do any analyzing. It's like a man. Mm -hmm. A man. Is he standing or sitting? Standing. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? Native American. A Native American. Mm -hmm. Is he clothed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's he wearing? I see like fur and leather. Mm -hmm. Can't really make it all out yet. What does he feel like in relation to you? Um. Like a peer, but more knowledgeable, mm -hmm. maybe. Maybe like a husband or husband. Mm -hmm. He's your husband. Is there anybody could else? Be. Could be. Anybody else in the cave? No. Just you and him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still don't have any clothes on. That's fine. How do you feel in your skin? Fine. Normal. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Take me through that scene. Describe everything that happens everywhere well, you go. Walking into the cave and there's a fire lit and he's I guess coming from the back of the cave to meet me. I don't I don't hear anything or but like you're not going to connect with him. You're not going to hear anything. You're going to connect with him telepathically. Mm. Okay. So as you connect with him you'll be able to connect your thoughts and you'll be able to understand who he is and what he's telling you. So just connect with him now. I feel kind of joyful. Mm -hmm. Smiling at him. In like a flirtatious way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's very like stern. Mm -hmm. And uh, protective. How does that make you feel? Good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to be playful with him. Mm -hmm. To loosen him up. I guess I do this a lot to tease him. Yes. He likes it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't change him. He's still putting on his tough guy act. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? I'm just trying to loosen him up, play with him, but I don't know. I'm sensing a dinner situation, maybe. Mm -hmm. He's He's got like this sense of duty. I don't understand what's going on, though. Just allow the thoughts to come. It'll just flow to you. Remember, you're connected telepathically to him. So you'll understand what's happening. I don't know. I think we're we're supposed to go hunting together. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I don't think I want to go. I want to play with him. Mm -hmm. I want us to have quality time by the fire. So you can control this and go fast forward into the scene and tell me what happens. You can look at it quickly and stop at the scene where it tells you what happens. I don't want to be left by myself. 
I don't know why I don't have any clothes on and he does. Logical mind keeps coming in. That's okay, just brush it aside. We're not here to do any analysis, we're here to enjoy what we're seeing. So, as you're there, what happens? But I th I'm thinking we have no food. We can't just sit here and play by the fire. Although that's what I want to do. You gotta go. Alright, so let's leave that scene behind. We're leaving it behind and now we're going to go to another important day in time in that same lifetime. We're now going to another important day in time. I see like flat plains, mm -hmm. like desert, like just flat for miles and no grass. Mountains in the background. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or is someone with you? I think there's people. Mm -hmm. Acclimate yourself in your body again and tell me what it is that you're wearing. Leather. Hide. Mm -hmm. I think I'm Native American. Mm -hmm. Black hair. So, what is it that you're doing there? We're moving. Mm -hmm. Are you on foot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's with you? This girl. She's got a coat on and she's carrying a cauldron. And she's clearing a cauldron? She's carrying, oh, she's carrying a cauldron. cauldron. Mm -hmm. My husband's in front of us. But there's others. Who is this girl? I think she's a friend. Mm -hmm. I think her husband's with my husband in front of us. Okay. But there's others. I just can't focus on them. That's fine. Whatever the first thing that comes into your mind. We're walking towards the mountain. That's our goal. But there's a lot of wind. And it's hot. Oh, the wind is like putting dirt in our faces. How does that feel? I don't like this. It feels like panicked, mm -hmm. almost. Gotta, gotta get there. Gotta get there. How are you phys feeling physically? Do you feel healthy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And how many? Just beautiful. How many are around you? Take a look and see how many are, are with you. I don't focus on th I would say maybe five ten more people mm -hmm. not very many people and are they all carrying something they were moving mm -hmm. are yeah. there any animals with you no you're on foot mm -hmm. look down at your feet are you wearing anything on your feet like leather strappy something mm-hmm so we can fast forward now through that scene. See yourself getting to your destination. It's another jungle. Mm -hmm. We're just arriving and the guys are making the plans like where, what direction to go and stuff. But I feel like I want to, I have something to say. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not something that that I would do. So let's go into that mind and I want you to find what is it that you want to say to them. Like I want to I want to take part in planning but it's just like cliche. It's mm -hmm. not something that you do. The, the men aren't supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. And what is it that your duty is? cook. 
take care of them. Okay. And do you feel that you're doing the best? I'm carrying stuff. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're carrying? Blankets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Tell me more. What happens? Uh, so they're debating how to go straight or right. Um, I think straight is up a mountain and right is there just level we're gonna go straight everybody has a lot of confidence in my husband and his friend do you have confidence in him too yes I love him mm -hmm. I admire him very strong. Sweet. So just walking. Tell me if anything happens on the way. I feel some kind of commotion. Mm -hmm. Somebody was lost. I don't know. Okay, we'll stay with that. Stay with it and see what you find. Allow the thoughts to come and you'll be able to see it. We lost. It has an axe. Just looking around with his axe up. Mm -hmm. I still feel safe. Connect with him. He's just being protective. He heard something. It's nothing. Okay. Very good. So let's leave that scene behind. We're closing that scene. And now we're floating to another time and place where there's more information. It's another important day in that lifetime. Laying down in a bed on my belly naked. I feel curious. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of structure I'm in, but I'm on a, like a bed made of trees mm -hmm. and there's a window in arm's reach to my left mm -hmm. and the sun is shining through. Now you say that this bed is made out of trees. Yeah, like logs. Mm -hmm. I think something woke me up from outside the window. Mm -hmm. I'm in a jungle still. It's people. Do you hear people outside? I think I did. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm, I feel redundant about this, but... I seem to be very in love with my husband. Is he with you? He's outside mm -hmm. the window. So let's take a peek. Tell me what happens. I think he's building something. Mm -hmm. Looks like he has a child, a teenage boy with him. Maybe it's mine because I seem to feel so much love and so proud. Mm -hmm. How old is this boy? I'd say 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And this is your son? I think so. Mm -hmm. So what are they doing out there? They're building something. Right how, outside. How are they dressed? My son has 
no shirt on, but he does have pants. Mm -hmm. mm. What are the pants made of? It's almost like a type of cotton, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's not like leather, like what I used to have. Mm -hmm. um, my husband keeps saying feather, like a feather headband, mm -hmm. but very not like huge feathers, just like little, like a headband we would wear today, but with feathers on it. Mm -hmm. What color feathers? White mm -hmm. with red stripes and maybe another color in there. I can't tell. And my son has shiny black hair and he's like Indian color, like skin, whereas I'm more fair skin. Mm -hmm. Is their hair short or long? My husband's is long and in braids, but my son's is short. And how old are you now? Uh, my 50s, maybe. Mm -hmm. Still beautiful. Very, very relaxing, loving life of protection and love. Uh, a lot of like I'm just enamored with the men in my life mm -hmm. and feel very grateful to have them wonderful yeah and they they appreciate me so take a moment to just savor that <laughs> savor that moment Connect with all of those wonderful emotions. <sighs> Feel your worth. Connect with them. Because this is who you are. You're a beautiful woman. Worthy of love and respect. Feel every bit of it so that you know how it feels. I feel like somebody just got killed. All right, let's go with that. Tell me I that saw way. an arrow mm -hmm. hitting someone, and I don't know if that was my son. Let's take a look and see. I'm sorry. Take a deep breath in. I see a bed of feathers. Mm-hmm. A bed of feathers. I think it's a funeral. Mm-hmm. I just hope it's not my son. I still see him outside building, out the window. Mm -hmm. It's like, but in my mind's eye, I can see a bit of feathers mm -hmm. and feel pain of loss. And then it keeps showing me my son mm -hmm. building outside my window. Okay. So he might have got hit by an arrow when he was building outside the window. So let's go through that scene, and let's face, face what happened. I'm watching them and feeling so much love. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing over and over again my son looking at me and smiling. And nobody had any idea anything was going to happen. And then, from there's a light in the distance, like where the sky is, and a mountain over there, and that's where the arrow came from. Okay. And I hit him in the chest, on the side. 
so what happens next? Oh, I'm sorry. My husband lead runs towards where the arrow came from with his axe. And my son's just by himself there. And I I'm naked. I bring the blanket with me and, and run out to my son. I think he's dead already. Get in touch with those emotions and allow them to flow. <sighs> How you feel? Let it out. I get to him, he's still alive. <laughs> and we're all alone. And I'm all alone. <sighs> Just holding him. I'm scared. I'm not crying. I'm scared and I'm holding him. I'm waiting for my husband to come back. What happens? Talking to your son? Mm hmm What do you tell him? Just tell him how much I love him. That I'm always gonna be here. Loving him. I was just waiting. I'm waiting. There's nothing I can do, I'm not gonna I don't know how long he's going to be gone for, my husband. I don't know where he went. I don't know what's happening. I'm kind of helpless. I'm not going to leave my son. So let's now... Leave that scene and see what happens next. We're fighting. Who's fighting? Me and my husband. Mm -hmm. Because he left. And he feels like he needed to leave to protect us. And I tried to make him understand that he left me vulnerable to die. He loves me so much. We're both grieving. The feather pet is coming back. Mm -hmm. So let's let's follow that feather bed. See where it takes you. Allow the images to come in. I think I'm just I I made it mm -hmm. for myself. You made a feather bed for yourself. And this is hard. This is... We have to burn him, I think. It's 
ritual. Mm -hmm. So tell me the significance of the feathers. <laughs> it's like for a king. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Beautiful place to rest. I see. He has to be placed on the feather bed and we have to surround him and burn him. Mm -hmm. Who's with you? Villagers. Tribe. Mm -hmm. Are there many of them? No. Maybe. 15, 20 people. Uh -huh. my, my husband has to initiate the ritual. What is he saying? A chant. Mm -hmm. He's chanting to the gods. Mm -hmm. He's sending him home. We all are. Mm -hmm. We're using our energy to send him up but not physically, spiritually. How do you do that? I feel a lot of energy in my chest area, almost like visualizing energy coming out and raising him up as something to do with the flames of the fire, mm -hmm. reaching the heavens. I feel supported, proud. My husband's just chanting, like, go, go up, go home, mm -hmm. but in a different language. Mm -hmm. Music, drums. reason I feel we're on a beach mm -hmm. right outside the forest I feel water mm -hmm. is it like a lake a uh -uh. river mm -mm, it's an ocean it's an ocean <sighs> next to a jungle mm-hmm mm -hmm. very small beach but that's what we're doing this ritual I'm okay good very good so let's close let's close the scene behind and now we're going to go to a time when you're older in that same lifetime I'm sitting thinking about my life and why I never had other children coming to mind. It was too dangerous. It wasn't... My husband didn't want it. I, I don't think I cared much either, but now in this moment, I wish I had had more mm -hmm. because I didn't have long with my son. Are you feeling lonely? Regretful. Mm -hmm. Regretful. Oh. I wish I would have lived my life a bit differently. Had more. Had more children. Mm -hmm. How old are you now? Uh, my eighties. Mm -hmm. Is your husband still alive? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You're by yourself. I am in this moment. But I'm trying to connect with him, and I don't getting anything okay. so let's move now to the last day of your life we're moving now to the last day of your life hmm. tell me where you are I'm in that bed with the the tree bed mm-hmm and that 
well, I want to say it's the girl that was walking with me. Mm -hmm. But this girl isn't older like me. Maybe it's her daughter. Mm -hmm. We're very close. It's just me and her. How are you feeling? Tired. Mm -hmm. Like emotionally tired. Ready to be with my family. Good. So now take your last breath and tell me what happens. Light. Stream. Mm -hmm. Where is this light coming from? Mm -hmm. From above. Mm -hmm. It's like picking me up. It's taking me. The light is taking you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me everything that happens with this light. It's like a vacuum. Mm. I'm pulled toward it. I'm in it. I am it. Are you by yourself or do you see others there with you or sense them? I see a door. You see a door? Mm -hmm. What does this door look like? It's a wooden door. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Is this door open? It's dark behind. It's dark. Okay. I don't want to go there. The door is beaten up. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to open it to know. It's just darkness. Mm -hmm. So you choose not to go through that door? I'm choosing, but I'm being nagged. Who's nagging you? My curiosity. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happened. I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere. Mm -hmm. How does it feel being in nowhere? It's confusing, lonely. Tell me if anybody comes to meet you. I feel like in the corner, it's like a speck of light. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm so compelled to open this door, and I know I shouldn't. I know I should go over there where the light is. I'm just floating in darkness. Mm -hmm. Why do I care? When I go to the light, I feel pain leaving the door behind. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to go towards the light. Alright. So tell me what happens. I keep looking back. Wanting to change my mind. But I know it's almost like someone's calling me from the light. Mm -hmm. I love you, just come. We're here, waiting for you. Maybe I don't want to die. I don't know. 
go on? What happens next? I think I might be in the light. Can't be. Get in touch with him. Let the let it flow. What feelings are you having? What emotions are you feeling? Better. Mm -hmm. Feels like a very slow float to this lit light. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I have vision. Mm -hmm. It's just basket kind of. Mm -hmm. So just tell me as you're going through it what you're experiencing, what you're feeling. Sensation of floating. Mm -hmm. It's warm. Almost like a hand, a huge hand is forming out of the light mm -hmm. <laughs> to carry me. I feel like it's like a father. Mm -hmm. A loving father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm injured and he's helping me. Mm -hmm. Is this light? Is the hand made out of light? Mm -hmm. And he's just—is he grabbing for you? No, so his hand is placed like, like, like a bed for me to lay at rest. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I kind of feel unworthy. You feel, uh, you feel what? Unworthy. Unworthy to lie in his hand? Mm hmm But I do mm -hmm. uh, lay it. Just go wherever he takes me. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel in his hand? Rested. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now let's leave that scene behind. We're leaving that scene behind. And I'd like you to drift and float away from it. Leaving that person there to continue on her journey. She will find peace. She will find what she's supposed to find. We're leaving her there to continue on her own path. Do I have permission to ask questions? Mm -hmm. I know the subconscious could have brought forth many different lifetimes for Kristen to see today. And you chose to bring forward that life of a Native American woman. Why did you show her that life? Love. Love. She seems to have been very much in love with her husband and with her son. This is something that she's lacking in this lifetime. What, were else, what else were you trying to tell her besides love? needs to appreciate people
to love her. <laughs> Is she not doing that? Somewhat. She tells me she has difficult relationships in her life. She doesn't appreciate the love. They love her, yes. but she doesn't understand it. No. Okay. She feels controlled. Uh, what would you like to tell her about that? To help her understand better how to deal with them? Have patience. Have patience? With all of them? Yes. Okay. Good. We'll be asking more about them later, but she wants to know if Spirit has been attempting to speak to her. Yes. Can you tell her who? Guide. Her guide? Who is her guide? Me. <laughs> Do you have, in your words, a way to describe who you are? Higher self. Higher self. So what have you been trying to tell her? Treat her body with respect. Treat her body with respect. She's not doing that? No. Would you tell her more about that? She indulges a lot. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about alcohol? Alcohol, food, mm -hmm. sex. Mm -hmm. Why is she doing that? Love. She wants love. makes her feel loved. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't seem to feel the love, even though she indulges in it. In the moment she does. Mm -hmm. But it's making her sick. Mm -hmm. As her higher self, what would you like to tell her about that? You are loved. By so many. You need to love yourself. Should she continue to be indulging with alcohol and food and sex? No. What can she do to replace that? Love herself. Mm -hmm. Have a good conversation with a mirror? Hug herself. Mm -hmm. Right? So more journaling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow her passion. Okay. She wants to know if she has any extrasensory abilities. She knows, yes. Yeah, she's. I know she told me she was empathic. Mm -hmm. But there's. Very. That's very painful for her. And yeah, she's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Feeling other people's emotions is difficult. Mm -hmm. She thinks they're her own. So how can she distinguish what's other people's pain and her own? How does she learn that? She has to love herself first. Okay. Know herself. So, so once she understands what her body 
in her mind are really supposed to be all about, then she can tell. Discern. Mm -hmm. She can discern. She wants to know if um, she has clear audience abilities that are being blocked. Once she learns to love herself, all of her abilities will be available. Healing and hearing, seeing. Mm -hmm. Limitless. Wonderful. But she has to love herself first. Yes. Okay. Very hard. It is hard for her. She has a question about her mom who passed away. Is her mom around her? Always. Well, I know that her dad is always talking to the mom every night. Does she hear him? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to connect us today with Anna? Would you allow me to have a conversation with her today? Yes. Thank you. So would you allow me to speak with her now? Tell me when she's there. Anna? Good afternoon. Hi. How do you feel being able to connect with your daughter today? Good. What have you been trying to tell her? I love you. Mm -hmm. I know that at the end she felt that she wasn't a good daughter to you. What would you like to tell her? Pain. Pain? There was a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain there. Mm hmm With your physical body? No. Emotional. Emotional body. Oh, okay. Emotional. Your daughter was not the same as your other children. No. Mm -mm. She's special. She's special. Tell her how she's special. She's sweet. Mm -hmm. Very caring. Mm -hmm. Anna, would you like to give her a hug now? Would you like to hug? All right, I'm going to help you hug. I'm going to take your arm now, and I'm going to help you hug your daughter. Give her a big hug. Tell her what you feel. <sighs> Sorry. I love you very much. You're a special girl. You reminded me of me. Tell her what you feel that you weren't able to tell her when you were alive. I admire your strength. You hurt me a lot. Her that tell her that in different ways so she can feel it. I 
didn't understand. I didn't understand you. I didn't know how to be a mom to you. when you wanted love I had no more to give to you I was not happy my own life you think I loved your sister more but she distracted me you reminded me the rose you gave her? Yes. Mm -hmm. She still has it? Yes. How do you feel about her having that? Happy. Mm -hmm. Loved. Mm -hmm. I gave her a rose mm -hmm. before I died to show her I love her. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry making her feel unloved. That's what I felt like my whole life. Mm -hmm. Anna, do you, do, you, do you hear her talking to you? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. What do you say back to her even though she can't hear you? I rub her hair. You rub her hair? Does she feel it? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Is this when she's sleeping? When is it that you rub her hair? When she's relaxing. Mm -hmm. When she thinks of me. Mm -hmm. To let her know out there. Will you be able to allow her to feel you next time? Yes, I'd love that. Okay. Wonderful. What do you think of your grandson? I am. I'm so proud of both of them. Mm -hmm. Are you able to help your grandson from where you are? Yes. Anna, did you go to the light after you passed? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're able to help him? Yes. Wonderful. What would you like to tell your husband that talk, talks to you every night? Oh, I love him so much. He wants to see women, and I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. He needs love. He's changed so much. So do you give him your blessings? Yes. Tell him that so he can hear this. Rod. Go find someone to spend time with. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here when you get here. Live your life. You have so much left to live. I love you. Wonderful. Anna, from your eyes, do you see anything that is hindering your daughter from progressing? Do you see any influence around her today? Energy. Energy. What kind of energy do you see? Dark. Dark. Where is this energy? Take a look at it. Take a look at her whole body and tell me where this dark energy is. I see the uterus. Mm -hmm. You see something in the uterus? A dark energy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knees. Mm -hmm. Legs. 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 Lower legs. Lower legs. Uh-huh. Anywhere else? Throat. In the throat. Abdomen 
area in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. The abdomen is causing emotional pain. Mm -hmm. Extreme emotional pain. So you see some energy there? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I usually like to call in my Archangel team to help with these matters. Would you be from your side, assist me in helping your daughter here today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give her a big hug. Tell her what you need to tell her. And I thank you for your assistance here today. Thank you. Tell her what you want to say in parting. Very proud of you. <sighs> My baby's crying. <laughs> thank you for a beautiful grandson. I'm always with you. Thank you, Anna. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to have my Archangel team help me with this. And I'm calling forth the energy that is in the abdomen first. I'm putting my hands above the abdomen and I'm bringing forth that energy to allow it to express itself. I'm bringing it up, up, up. Who am I speaking with today? Are you male or female? Yeah. Male? <laughs> what may I call you? Hurt. Hurt. Mm-hmm. Hurt. How long have you been there in this abdomen area? Very long. Time. Very long. How long? Seven. Since she was seven? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what caused you to be attracted to, to her? Rejection. Rejection. Who was rejecting her? Mom. Her mom. Okay. What year is it for you right now? 88. 88. Okay. And her, when you were attracted to her, was this something mutual? Did she ask for you? She, t she asked you for protection, so she invited you to come in? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, so she gave you permission to be with her? Yep. Okay. And as um, when you've been with her, what have you been causing her? Pain. Pain. What kind of pain? Isolation. Mm. To make her feel alone? Protect. To protect her? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you keep people away from her? Push them away. You push them away. Are these men? Anybody. Anybody. So she's not able to get close to anybody? Nope. Mm -hmm. How does this serve you, Hurt? Just doing my job. You're doing your job because you called her in. She called you in. Yep. Hurt. Recall another time and another place when you lived on Earth? Were you a man or a woman then? Child. You were a child? Mm hmm. What happened to your body? Unwanted. You were unwanted? In what way? Abandoned. You were abandoned? How old were you? Baby. Mm. Uh, one? One year old. So what happened to you after you, did, you were abandoned? I died. You died? Yeah. What were the causes of your death? Starvation. Starvation. Mm-hmm. What year was that? What year is it for you? Eighties. Eighty. Mm-hmm. In the eighties? 1980s? 1980. Mm -hmm. Where did you live? New York City. New York City. So after you died, what happened to your spirit? Where did you go? Stayed here. Mm -hmm. Dumpster. In a dumpster. Is that where you were? 
around it, mm -hmm. hung out there. Yeah. So you hung up in a dumpster? So how did you find Kristen? Oh, at the airport. At the airport. What were you doing there? Being rejected by her mother. Mm. Was she going somewhere? No, she was taking her mother to the airport. Mm -hmm. And her sister snuck on the plane. Mm -hmm. And they left together. And Kristen was left by herself? With her father. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? They lied to her. She knew they lied to her. She knew she couldn't trust anybody. Mm. <laughs> so how did you come into the picture? I give her a feeling. When I give her that feeling, she goes, she can't trust somebody. So hurt. Do you feel like you've done everything you can for her now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go to the light? Yes. Hurt, before you go, we need to first help you out. And what I'd like for you to do is I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give me all of the feelings that you've been holding inside all of those hurt feelings and I want you to give them to me so that you can go lighter as you go progressing into light give me everything that you're feeling that has kept you earthbound all of the pain of being abandoned and not being able to progress as a spirit tell me when my hand is full of all your emotion All right, so I'm going to now take it and I'm going to send it off into the universe. Now hurt in that space that's left. There's a lot of space there. What would you like to fill it with? Acceptance. Acceptance. So let's fill it with acceptance. Family. Mm -hmm. Family that will love you. Wonderful. What else? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. For whom? For your family that abandoned you? Or for what? Be specific. I don't blame them. Okay. All right. Forgiveness of myself. Good. Very good. What else? Love. Love. Let's fill that space with love. Wonderful. How do you feel now, Hurt? Light. Light. Wonderful. Would you like to tell Kristen something before you leave? Strong person. Mm -hmm. You've been through a lot, and you don't need you don't need me anymore. Wonderful. All right, Hurt. I'm going to ask my angels to come and surround you. They're my rescue angels. They'll accompany you into the light. Tell me when you see them. I see. I what see. You, what do you see? A face. Mm-hmm. Who is that face? Looks like a child. Mm-hmm. Is he asking you to come with him? He's showing you peace. Mm, wonderful. So I'm asking now the angels to surround you and take you to the light where you'll be healed. May the light of the universe accompany you, Hurt. Thank you. And now that you're in the light, what would you like to be called now? Light. Light. So we've gone from Hurt to Light, and it's a beautiful name for you. Thank you very much. And as you are in the light now, would you take some of that light that's shining all around you, and I want you now to beam it into the area where you were affecting Kristen. I want you to seal all of the area that you were taking space in. So big. Well, to go ahead and take that take that light, and I want you to use it as a magic magic ointment. Seal all of that area. Fill it with light. 
fill it with love that you now have and can project into her. And tell me when she's totally sealed. There's a block. Mm, where is that block? Right under the chest and then right under the heart. Okay. So light from your area, I'd like you to assist me in unblocking that and bringing it up to the surface. So we're bringing that up to the surface to express itself. Good afternoon. Hey. Are you male or female? I don't know. What may I call you? Lost. Lost. Mm -hmm. Lost. Lost. How long have you been there with Kristen? Not very long. Not very long. Mm -hmm. Lost. Did you have anything to do with, with her babies? No. How did you get there? People leaving her? Mm hmm Is that how she allowed you to to be attracted to her? We joined together. We joined together? Mm hmm Did she call comfort. on you? In comfort? Because you felt lost and she did too? So both of you resonated together. Mm hmm <sighs> Lost, tell me your story. What happened to you in your last life? Weak. Mm -hmm. I think an earthquake or, uh -huh. or some natural disaster. A natural disaster? How old were you there? Middle aged. Middle aged? Were you male or female? Female. Female? Mm hmm. What was your name? In that Rachel. Book? Rachel? Mm -hmm. Does that resonate with you? Yeah. So, Rachel, where is it that you live? <sighs> like, Philippines? Mm hmm. In the Philippines? And there was a natural disaster? Something like mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Recall that time. I want you to go back into that time and tell me what happened. A tsunami. You see a tsunami. Mm -hmm. Took everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Including me. So you were, were washed out into the water? No. What happened? I hit my head. Oh, you hit your head. Drowned. Okay. Rachel, were you. Did you have a family? Yes. Did you lose your family yes. too? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happened to you after you drowned? What happened to your spirit? Looking. Looking for my family. Mm -hmm. You lost them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Found her. How did you find her? Where was she? Hospital. She was in the hospital. Tell me about it. Tell me what was going on. <laughs> what was happening to her? They just told her her mom died. <laughs> She needed someone. <laughs> mm -hmm. And did you have children of your own, Rachel? Yes. So you wanted to take care of her. Oh, yes. So she kind of became like your daughter. Mm -hmm. 
But unfortunately, Rachel, you weren't her mother. And you were also feeling at a loss. So you weren't able to help her in a positive way, were you? Companionship. Companionship. But misery loves company. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. So you were kind of sticking around with her, and you were both being miserable. Isn't that true? Yeah. So are you done with being miserable, Rachel? Wouldn't you like to go see your family and go home? I like it here. I know you like it here, but this is not home. It's comfortable. I know. Safe. It is safe, but she's not feeling safe with you. What is it that you have caused her? Broken heart. Broken heart. Mm -hmm. She can't move. She can't move on. I know. And especially if you're in there being miserable too, right? You're feeling at a loss and you're just giving her more feelings. Rachel, you see... Let's comfort her. You want to comfort her. But you can do that from the light. Did you know that? I didn't think about it. Yeah. As spirit, the, the natural progression of a spirit is to go to the light after they die. There they see their family. They see their guides. They're able to rest for a while. They're able to go to school and choose another life. And you could actually act as a guide or an angel for others. But you can't do that when you're not in the light. You're just stuck here in this dimension. It's a heaviness. It's a heavy feeling. Yeah. But when you're in the light, you feel totally different. Would you like to experience that now and finally go home? <laughs> a hurt is chiming in with mm. a joke. What's he saying? He says he's in the light and he's light. Mm -hmm. He's trying to tell me. He became light. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't it be nice for you to become light? Yeah. Are you ready to let her go? You, you have a lot of heavy feelings. Would you like me to help you with that today? Okay. okay because you have a lot of baggage, Rachel. And I'd like you to loosen some of that baggage and send it off into the light to be healed. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. And I want, Rachel, for you to give me all of that heaviness that you have so that we can send it off. Tell me, when everything has been taken out of you, all of those sad feelings, all of those feelings of loss, give them to me so I can send them to be healed. Okay. All right, I'm going to take them all and send them off into the light. Now, Rachel, there is a big space there for you to fill. What would you like to fill it with? Family. Mm -hmm. So let's fill that space with family. What else would you like to fill it with? Love. Mm -hmm. Let's fill it with lots of love. What else? Hold this wholeness that's wonderful so you could feel whole again what about peace yeah lots of peace let's fill that space with peace so now Rachel how do you feel stronger stronger are you ready to join hurt into the light mm -hmm. or light into the light <laughs> I feel like I'm a pant Oh, well, let's, let's, let me talk with, with Kristen a moment. I'm going to touch your forehead and we could talk with Kristen. Kristen, are you hearing everything that's happening here with Rachel? Yeah. She feels like she's abandoning you. What would you like to tell her? Just go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just go. Well, you have to do it with love. Okay. So send her your feelings of love. Do you forgive her for Oh, yes. For this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell her that because her feelings are hurt. She feels like she's abandoning you. Oh, I feel your compassion. Mm -hmm. You go, go find your families. I'll be okay. All Thank right. you. All right. So let me speak with her again. Rachel, do you see how Kristen feels? Mm -hmm. That she wants you to go? Yeah. All right. So now, Rachel, I'm asking my angels to come and surround you. Tell me when you see them. 
Mm -hmm. And now they're going to guide you up into the light. And Rachel, I'd like for you, as you're going up, to pull all of those attachments that you had in her body, everything that you left behind, I want you to take them with you, leave nothing behind, no sense of loss, no sense of abandonment. Pull them all with you. Heavy. Yeah, I know it's heavy. Pull them all. Pull them all. And tell me when you're done. Got it. Wonderful. So I'm asking my uh, my team member, Archangel Michael, to come and take your hand. Do you see him? Yes. He's going to take you in, into the light so you can see Kristen from there. And as you're in the light now, tell me what you're experiencing. Love. Mm. Do you see your family yet? No. Mm. It may take some time. I see a baby, my baby. Mm -hmm. Tell me who you see. Trees. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. This is your home, Rachel. How does it feel? Really good. Good. So from that light that you're in, I want you to beam it down onto Kristen's body. And I want you to seal all of the space that you left behind. I have my baby. Mm, wonderful. So as you're holding your baby, seal her with light and tell me when you're done. I'm done. Good. Rachel, as you're looking down at her body, do you see any other energy with her? Feet. The feet. Okay, very good. Is the left or the right foot? Both. Both. Okay. So I'm going to make my way towards your feet now. And I'm going to bring my the energy up. I'm bringing it up all the way up. I'm bringing the energy up so that it expresses itself. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi. Who am I speaking with? Lazy. Lazy? Yes. Oh, hi, Lazy. Hi. How long have you been there? Oh, boy. Ah, oh, 14. You've been there since she was 14? Yeah. What caused you to be attracted to her? She didn't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neither do I. Let me ask you, Lazy, are you male or female? No, uh, female. Female. Yeah. So how old are you? 30, 30, 30. 30? What year is it for you? 67. 67, 1967? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what was your name in that life? George. Mm -hmm. Female. No. You're female George? No, George. George. So you're male? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So George, tell me, what were the uh, causes of your physical death in that life? War. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So what happened to you? Head injury. Leg injury. Mm-hmm. How did you do that? I think I got shot. Mm-hmm. You were shot. Who shot yeah. you? In the war. Mm -hmm. Which war is this? Is this the Vietnam War? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you were shot, and what happened to your to your spirit? No, that's not how I died. I died from the infection. Oh. So. In your feet. My leg. Mm-hmm. I uh, just kind of laid around for a while. Mm -hmm. Where? Hospital. Mm -hmm. VA. Mm -hmm. How old were you? 30. Mm -hmm. So what happened to your legs? Hey, my right leg got infected. And uh, the sepsis killed me. The substance? 
se sepsis mm. okay. infection. The infection, okay. So what happened after that when you died? Where did you go? I think I went home. Where'd you go? To my house. Mm -hmm. Where's that? Virginia. Virginia? Mm-hmm. But nobody saw me. No. Nobody would talk to me. <sighs> so there, from there, where did you go? Just laid around. Mm-hmm. Hailed around the house. So how did you find Kristen? She's in my house. She was in your house? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did she agree to invite you in? Then how did you I don't get think so. So how did you Vibration, I guess. Mm hmm How was she feeling at the time? Lazy. She was feeling lazy? Yeah, she didn't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. No, I was just doing the same thing but without my body, so so you decided to attach yourself to her? Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. And what did you get out of it? I don't know. You just decided to hang around for all that time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you cause her anything? Oh, uh, yeah. What did you cause her? <coughs> she misses out on a lot of stuff. Like what? Over the years. Um, well, school, mm -hmm. she just didn't do what she could have done. Is that because of your influence? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, respect from people, because... She didn't want to do anything. She just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody else was getting things done. And she was just being lazy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Work. Mm -hmm. I keep her in bed sometimes. You make her call in sick? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> It's nicer just to lay around. Yeah. But unfortunately, when you laid around, you finally passed away. Is that what you want for her? No, she's been fighting me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's been fighting me lately. Yeah. Are you ready to let go of this? Sure. Now? George, let me ask you something out of curiosity. Mm. In your last life, were you, what color were you? White. You were white. Okay. Mm. Do you have any idea why she has preference to black men? Since you've been with her all this time? Is there any other energy involved here? Uh, I, there's probably others. I mean, from my perspective, it mm -hmm. just... Okay, all right. <coughs> but let's work on you now, George, because we need to take care of, of your progression. Every spirit needs to progress, and once they leave their body, they need to go into the light. And by you being with Kristen all this time, you uh, haven't allowed her to use her free will in this life. You've made her lazy, even though she's wanted to do something. So is there anything that you would like to tell Kristen at this time about her? Oh. Do you feel bad about being here and influencing her? No. Mm -hmm. Is there anything from your past life that you would like to let go? Any regrets? Regret getting shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me talk with Kristen for a moment. I'm going to touch your forehead. Kristen, do you hear what George has been saying? Yeah. What do you feel about it? Um, He's been making you lazy? Uh -huh. I don't really pay attention to that much anymore. Mm -hmm. I know you've been fighting him. Yeah. Are you ready to let him go? Yeah. Do you forgive him for 
making him you lazy all the time? Okay. All right. Let me talk with George. George, are you ready to go home? Okay. All right. So what I'd like for you to do is look around you, and I'm going to ask my rescue angels to come around and escort you so that this time, instead of hanging around on this three-dimensional world, you can finally see the light. Tell me when you see the angels. I see them. Okay. So I want you to go with them, and as you go, George, I want you to pull from her all of the influence that you left in her body. All of the laziness that's keeping her from going ahead in her life. Pull it all out. Pull it from the roots. Leave nothing behind of your essence. Tell me when you're done. I'm done. Good. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to escort you into the light and tell me when you see him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, George, from the light, how do you feel? How does it feel up there? Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. do you th do you, have you seen anybody that you recognize? My wife. Mm -hmm. She's been waiting for you. What does she have to say? She wants a hug. Give, it, give her a big hug. I feel complete. Wonderful. So, George, now from the light, beam some of that energy down into the area where you were residing and seal her with that light. There's other stuff there. Okay. So will you help me find them? Okay. Okay. Where Where is it that we're looking for? Just the legs. The legs. Okay. So thank you, George. And I'm going to bring that energy up from the legs. I'm bringing it up. Up, 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 up. You can express yourself now. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. What may I call you? Tired. 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 Where have you been all this time? Legs. The legs. Mm hmm. So tired. So tired. Why is it that you're so tired? Going, 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 going. Mm hmm. Tired? Are you male or female energy? Male. Male? Mm hmm. How old are you? Forties. Forties? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Think back in a time when you had a body. Oh. Where were you? Old lady. You were an old lady. Mm-hmm. Hard to walk. Hard to walk. So what happened to you? Oh, I died of old age. You died of, and then what happened to you after you died? Oh. Try to get some young legs. Mm hmm. They still hurt. They still hurt, yeah. T tired. Mm hmm. What did they call you in that lifetime? Amanda. Amanda? How does that resonate with you? Can I call you Amanda? I guess. Mm hmm. So, Amanda. You where is it that you lived in your last life? Mexico. Mexico? Mm hmm So what, how did you find Kristen? She came to Mexico. She did? Mm-hmm. She just had a baby. Mm-hmm. Young, beautiful, dancing, dancing. Mm -hmm. Was this attraction mutual? No. No. So how was it that you were able to get, get into her, attach to her? What was the vulnerability there? I think alcohol. Ah, alcohol. She was drunk. She was partying. She was partying. So when she was partying, her um, her defenses were down? I guess, yeah. And so you decided to party too? <laughs> with her legs? Yes. Mm-hmm. So much fun back then. 
So that was the purpose of attaching to her? So you mm -hmm. wanted to dance? Mm hmm She doesn't dance anymore. She doesn't. So how does that make you feel? She works, 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 mm -hmm. works, works. Things. Doesn't make you any happier, does it? It's the same thing all over again. Mm hmm So does it serve you to be here with her? No. How are your legs? Well, we want you to get a spiritual body, Amanda. Oh. You see, as a spirit, the natural progression is for you, when you pass, to be able to go to the light, and from there, you rest a while, go to school, see your loved ones, and you can find brand new body to come into. Brand new legs of your own. Doesn't that sound good? Yes. Because you know how children's legs are. Mm. They run mm. and they jump and they have a lot of fun. Wouldn't that be better? Yes. Yeah. So Amanda, are you ready to let go of these boring legs that don't dance anymore? Yes. And get your own legs mm -hmm. as a new body? Oh yeah. Okay. So what I'm asking now, Amanda, is for you to um, tell Kristen how you feel. Do you have any regrets? No. No? Are you sorry for affecting her? Mm-hmm. What I else? Guess. What else have they're you done? They're causing to? pain in her legs. They're causing pain? Because they're old lady pains, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Knees. Knees and legs. Mm hmm Lower legs. Are you ready to take that with you? She no, doesn't need that. I don't need it either. Okay, so let's take that away so that we can heal those legs. Okay. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give me all of that pain. Mm. We're going to send it to the light for healing. Okay. All right, we're going to take all that. I'm sending it to the light. How do you feel now, Amanda? You ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. So say goodbye to Kristen. Bye. All right. I'm calling in my rescue angels to surround you. Tell me when you see them. I see them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to accompany you. And as you go up into the light, I want you to pull from Kristen all of the influence that you've had on her. Pull it out from the roots and take it with you. And tell me when it's done. i got to take the back pain with me, too. Take it with you. Take every pain that you've caused her. And tell her what other things you're pulling from her. Legs, back, mm -hmm. all those Sh shoulders, shoulders, all those old lady symptoms. Take them with. Poor you. baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she's so young. Pull everything with you. Take all that pain with you. She doesn't need it anymore. Tell me when you're done, Amanda. I think I got it. Wonderful. So. As the angels take you up, I want you to uh, stretch out your hand. I'm going to have Archangel Michael pull you into the light. Mm -hmm. Tell me when it's done. Okay. And tell me what you see there. Light. Mm, has light. I'm young. Wonderful. Look at your legs now. Mm, beautiful. Now you can run and jump and dance. All I right am now. right now. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So Amanda, do me a favor from the light. Beam down that wonderful energy of dancing and that youth. Beam it down to her and cover her completely with that light. Seal <laughs> all of that energy and give her that youthful feeling again. <laughs> Tell me when you're done. Oh. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Amanda. May the light of the universe accompany you in this wonderful dance in the light. And as you look at her body, do you see any other energy that may be influencing her? Any other shadows? Mm -hmm. Where do you see it? Like a neck in the head. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll take it from here. Amanda, thank you oh, so much for that. So now I'm taking all of that energy that's in her head and her neck, and I'm asking you to express yourself. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. Who am I speaking with? I worry. You worry? Mm-hmm. Where is it that you've been all this time, Worry? Where do you uh, reside? I, I'm in the head and, and the, 
throat mm -hmm. speech. So you worry? Yeah, worry, mm -hmm. overanalyze, mm -hmm. fear, mm -hmm. all that stuff. What may I call you? Are you male or female? Female. Female. So, how old are you? Are you young or old? Middle aged. Middle aged. What year is it for you? 90s. In the 90s. Mm. And so, how was it that you were attracted to Kristen? What was the reason that you came? She to? was taught. She knew. She knew my ways. Mm -hmm. She. She was taught by others. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your ways are. And what does that mean to me? Judge. Judgmental. Mm -hmm. Um. A analyze things. You don't want to be stupid. Mm -hmm. you don't want to be stupid. Mm -hmm. So worry. Are you an aspect of her, or are you um, a different uh, entity? From entity. Her. You're an entity. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you died in your last life? I'm a businesswoman. You're a businesswoman. Um. um mm -hmm. Where did you live? Dallas. In Dallas. Uh huh. What year is it for you? Like late eighties, early nineties. Mm -hmm. I think I was hit by a car. I'm not sure. Okay, let's take you back there. I want you to recall the last moment that you were alive in a human body. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. Left the office and I'm crossing the street. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I looked. So you were hit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Look down at your body and tell me what happened next. I'm standing. Mm. Even though I was hit, mm -hmm. I see my outfit. Looking okay, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, for those days, now it would be no good. Mm -hmm. So you're very judgmental about your appearance. I guess. Yeah. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, you're kind of out of date now, huh? You're kind of wearing old clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did they call you in those days? What was Jackie. Your name? your name was Jackie. So, Jackie, what happened to your spirit after that, as you were walking around? Mm -hmm. I think I just continued on. You like continued normal. On. Mm -hmm. So you tried uh, working normally in your office? No, I just... walking on the street. Mm -hmm. So how did you find Kristen? Well, was it something that you were invited by her? Was she worrying about something? She, uh, she worries. She worries about not being good enough. Mm -hmm. Being judged. Yeah. But Jackie, that concerns me a little bit because there's a lot of people on Earth that are worried about not being good enough and <laughs> now, now you're telling me that you're walking around here in spirit and that she's thinking about this and all of a sudden you latched on to her. Mm. What was the vulnerability that she had that allowed you to invite you in? Or did you just take advantage of her? No. What happened? It just matched. You matched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was around and I was around. So now that you had a, a new body, what did you do with it? As you sat there in the head worrying. I helped her. What did you help her with? Logic. Mm-hmm. And analyzing. Mm -hmm. she's, she's very analytical. 
Mm-hmm. Is that good for her to analyze so much? It was. Mm-hmm. It served her well, mm-hmm. but I, don't, I think it's hurting her. Yeah, it is. Jackie, just out of curiosity, what color was your skin when you died? White. White, okay. Yeah. So are you, uh, what else have you caused her? Skepticism. Mm -hmm. Mm. Do you have anything to do with her her love life? Yeah, I guess I, I guess I play a role in everything. Okay, tell tell me about it. She just, you know, needs a a logical mind to. Prove to everybody that she's not stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't want to have the wool pulled over our eyes. Mm-hmm. We show them that mm-hmm. we're smart. Okay, but you say we, Jackie. We means that you are inhabiting her body with her Mm. and uh, as human beings we have free will Mm -hmm. and by attaching yourself to her you're not allowing her to have her own free will do you realize this i mean there's aspects of me that she she appreciates yeah but it's not her it's not her spirit i understand that you're influencing her and that's that's really uh, not part of the law of free will. We come here with free will. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie, are you ready to let go and go home finally? Yeah. Who's there waiting for you? I don't know. Your parents, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Are you ready to let go? Mm hmm. Do you have anything else that you would like to tell Kristen about what you did with her? She and I work together. She can do it on her own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure you tell her that because as a businesswoman, uh, that that holds a lot of clout, doesn't it? Yeah. You you know what's inside of her, and you know that she can do it. She can do it. Okay. So I think it would be very nice for you to be able to help her as a guide from the light. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Instead of influencing her from inside. Yes. Would you like to do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, terrific. So... Um, Jackie, I'd like now to ask for the angels to surround you and tell me when you see them. They're going to guide you into the light. Tell me when you see these guy, these angels guiding you. They're here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and say goodbye to Kristen today. Okay. And I'm going to ask you, as you're leaving, to pull all of the influence that you have in her head, in her throat, in her neck, anywhere that you've been. And tell me if there's any other, any other attachments that you have in her body. She's resisting. She is. Mm. All right, let me speak with Kristen. Mm. Kristen? Hi. We talked about the fact that mm-hmm. you have total free will mm-hmm. and that anybody who is influencing you is not influencing you from their perspective and we have to allow you to grow and if you don't let anybody go these entities they can continue to cause you harm and she's been causing you a lot of worry your whole life are you ready to let her go so that she can guide you from the light and not from within I'm worried mm-hmm I know you're worried <laughs> Yeah. What are you worried about? Let a year go. Mm-hmm. Now, you know that if you continue to have her, she will be controlling you. You won't be controlling yourself. I can't help her progress as a spirit if you don't let her go. And you are holding her back as much as she was holding you back. You can't inflict your free will, free will on them either. So by you not allowing her to go, she can't progress. 
You see that? Yeah. So I know that you're worried, <clears throat> but that's because you've been using her. Same that she's been using you as a parasite. Yeah. I can't help you unless you help yourself. Are you ready to let her go? Mm-hmm. All right. Are you ready to go, Jackie? Mm-hmm. How do you feel now? Is she letting go? Yes. Okay, so take with you everything that you have in her body <clears throat> and tell me what, where, where it is that it's located. Her throat. Okay. So pull all of Worry. that energy. Mm -hmm. Pull all of that out. We don't need that anymore. Her, her brain. Okay. Us always analyzing. Okay, so we'll take that with you. Judging. Mm-hmm. Once you get to the light, we're going to be able to heal that, Jackie. Okay. So pull all of that out. Okay. We can't allow her to heal without first taking out everything that's been in there. I got it. All right. So I want you to pull it out. Tell me when you're in the light. I'm going to have Archangel Michael help you. Tell me when you see him. I'm in the light. Wonderful. So now from the light, how do you feel? I miss, miss, missing. Mm hmm What are you missing? I'm looking for someone. Mm hmm Now in the light, Jackie, you'll be able to find your guide, and they'll help you. They'll help you rest. After you've rested for a while, you can go to school. You can learn about more skills that you'll be able to use in your next lifetime. And you'll be able to even help as a guide. So as you are in the light now, please beam down to her all of that healing light from the source. Flood her brain, flood her throat, her neck area, flood it with light and seal up everything that needs to be sealed where you were residing before. And tell me when you're done. Okay. Wonderful. Jackie, thank you very much. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you. And as you look down on her body, do you see anything else? No. She's beaming in white light. Mm. Do you have anything else to say, Jackie? No. Thank you very much. If you want an experience like this, you can look up my website. Um, it's albawyman.com. I live in Miami, Florida, and this is where I do my sessions. So thank you for watching, and um, see you soon. <laughs>